Welcome to Coach O's Math. Today we're going to be solving one-step equations, adding and subtracting to solve. So we have this equation m plus 7, excuse me, m plus 4 equals 7. You should know the answer to that. What is m? 3, because 3 plus 4 equals 7. But what if the equation is more difficult? Because equations aren't always this simple. You're going to be having multi-step equations that you won't be able to do in your head. So you need to learn the steps on basic equations so that you can solve the more difficult ones later. I'm going to give you easy equations where you're going to know what the variable is and you're going to want to just write the answer. But no, you must show your work because you need to practice so that when the equations become difficult, you won't even have to think about it. So here we go. You start out, we're going to start out with these simple equations. We're going to stay with m plus 4. When we do these to solve an equation, we have to find out what is actually being done to the variable. You have to ask yourself, what is being done to this variable? Well, I'm adding 4. I'm adding 4 to the variable. So whatever m is, I'm going to add 4 to it, and it's going to give me 7. So, what's my goal when I solve an equation? My goal is to isolate the variable. What does the word isolate mean? Get it all by itself, all alone. Well, we do that by undoing what's being done to the variable. And we manipulate the equation. That's what we're doing. We're manipulating the equation. We can fool around with this equation as long as we stay consistent. So if I'm adding 4 to m, how do I, how do I undo that? How do I undo adding 4 to m? Well, What's the inverse of addition? Do you remember that? We do not say the word the opposite of addition because that is what, that's associated with a number line, the number 4 on a number line. What's the opposite 4? It's negative 4. When we're solving equations, we want to speak mathematically and we want to say, what is the inverse of adding 4? How do we undo addition? We subtract. So, we have to subtract 4 from this side. Now, now you've got to remember, you've heard me say this, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side of the equation. That allows us to manipulate it, because if I don't, I'm not showing my work. I have to show someone what I'm doing. So, i got to get my pen. Sorry about that. So, if I'm adding 4 to the m, how do I undo it? I subtract 4 because the inverse of adding 4 is to subtract 4. I can't stop there. I have to subtract 4 from both sides. Notice how I'm showing my work. Vertical. Yes, you have to show it this way where you're subtracting 4 on the left side and you're subtracting 4 on the right side. Plus 4 minus 4 cancels. We bring down our m. We bring down our equals, and 7 minus 4, you read it, 7 minus 4 is 3. That's what we said. 7 minus 4 is 3. So now, I want you to look at these. We're going to do these together. We have to isolate the variable, and we have to look at what's being done to the variable. What's being done to this variable? We're adding 10. What's the inverse of adding 10? Subtracting 10. What do we do to both sides of the equation? Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other side. So we become minus 10, minus 10. Draw the line like when you're adding and subtracting in elementary school. We bring down the x. This should always cancel. Plus 10 minus 10 is 0. Bring down the equals. Now, we read 14 minus 10 is 4. 4 plus 10, 14. We go to this one. What's being done to the y? Subtracting 7. What's the inverse of subtracting 7? What's the inverse of subtracting 7? Adding 7. 
And we must do it to both sides of the equation because whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other side of the equation to keep it balanced, to keep it fair. So the sevens cancel, we bring down the y, we bring down the equals, and 12 plus 12 is 24. Okay, watch what happens here. We're subtracting 4 from the variable. What's the inverse? Adding 4. Adding 4 to both sides. We bring down the x, we bring down the equals, this cancels. Yes, you have to show that. You have to show that it cancels out. Then you read this. Just only what's there. Negative 12 plus 4. Negative 8. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Now we go to this one. What are we doing to the variable? We're adding 7. How do we undo it? We find the inverse. What's the inverse of adding 7? Subtracting 7. Oh boy. Lots of mistakes happen here. I'm going to bring down the x. These cancel, bring down the equals. We read exactly what's there. Negative 14 minus 7. Think thermometer. It's 14 below zero. It drops 7 degrees. It is negative 21. Okay, here we go. What if the number comes before the variable? It doesn't change anything. We still look at it and say, what's being done to the variable? Well, we're adding 7. This is a positive 7. We're adding 7. How do you undo adding 7? What's it called? The inverse. So I'm inverse of adding 7 is to subtract 7. Whoa, sorry about that. Getting a little heavy. So when we do this, we bring down the x, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Bring that down. Look at this one. This one is tricky. Negative 12 plus y equals negative 20. What am I doing here? I'm adding a negative 12. What's the inverse of adding a negative 12? To subtract a negative 12. When we subtract a negative 12, we have two negative signs. Negative, negative 12, which becomes a positive. So instead of going subtract negative, negative 12, if we know that we subtract a negative 12, and we know that a negative, negative 12 is a positive 12, this becomes positive 12. You're going to have to memorize that if you don't understand it right away. Anytime you see a negative number out front and the variable behind it, you're going to have to know that you're going to have to add that number to both sides. This cancels, the y comes down, the equals, and again, you have to read it, negative 20 plus 12. You don't put in your extra signs, and that becomes negative 8. Okay, I want you to try these. Stop the video, try these, show your work, don't do these in your head. Alright, welcome back. I hope you know that you add 7 to both sides here, and you get n equals, I'm doing that again, boy this is so heavy, you get n equals 6, negative 1 plus 7. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides, and we're going to get m equals 17. Subtract 5 from both sides. Look at how I'm showing my work. Yes, you must show it to both sides. The t's cancel, the 5's cancel, and then negative 7 minus 5. It's 7 below. It drops 5 more degrees. It's negative 12. Again, here we go. We have the number out front. It's negative. I'm adding a negative 5 to the variable. How do I undo that? Well, then I'm going to subtract a negative 5. When I subtract a negative 5, it becomes a plus 5. And I get x is equal to 35. All right. For your assignment, write down two things that you have learned about solving addition and subtraction equations and bring one question about anything else you need to know. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.